Now it's time for the keg toss. Uh, this event requires pure power to succeed. The athletes will have to throw kegs of increasing weight over this four and a half meter barrier. Let's see how the athletes get on in this, the penultimate event. Well, we're flying through the events on day two here at Strongman Champions League Canada. As the strongmen get themselves ready for this one. It's the keg toss. Well, first up, we're going to see Alex Murren here. A man who hasn't featured so far this weekend. Hasn't quite felt right. A couple of injury issues for him, but this is an event he loves. One that he thrives off competing in. He just loves the keg toss. And that's two over the top. Huge weights. Again, something that can go drastically wrong if it falls in the wrong place. There's three. You can see the weights on the side of the kegs. Gradually going up and up. Trying to get 50 over the top. Oh, it clips it on the way through, but it's over. Holland's strongest man gets another one. But this will be another step up as the weight increases by five kilos. He wants some support from the watching crowd. Oh, close but not quite. As we pass the minute mark. He'll have another go here. Maybe one last push. Here we go. Oh, it's too short. That is time. The hand across the neck suggests that. The big love from Alex Moonen. Well, all the fun of the fair here. And Santi Asant. As Will Baggett takes on these kegs. No issues with number one. Woof. Two just over the top. Baggett coming into day two. Seven in the rankings from day one. He's dropped to ninth after two events here on day two. He's doing well in this one, though. 30 seconds gone, and he's on to the last two. Oh, momentum just falls. He's playing on the crowd at the moment as well. Here he goes. 60 seconds gone. Not long left, but it isn't going to be. The blue ones will stay on this side. And now it's Terry Hollands, another Englishman. Another strong man looking to make a mark in this event. The 240 kilo kegs, no problem. The 45 shouldn't be too much of an issue either. For the most experienced strongman in this stage. And he's flying through them at the moment. Can he do the two blues? No one's done them yet. Not first time, he can't. He'll have to regather his energy and go again. Here he goes. Again, just too short. And Hollands will bow out at that point. Solid effort from the Englishman. Terry, six kegs over there. Talk me through that event. Um, yeah, I felt in, in a pretty good rhythm. Got to the sixth one. Is trouble is once you miss one, you you sort of lose that rhythm. And um, it was like someone flicked a switch and the power was gone. So, you know, I think it's one of those events where when you lose your explosive power, it's done. You know, you're not going to get another one. So, I gave it a good shot on my last go, and you know, it was just um, just wasn't to be. Wasn't to be, but a new leader, six kegs in 25.52. Icelander Stefan Solvi Pedersen is next. Will he be the first to get one of these blue kegs over the top? The 55 kilo ones. 
He started well. And that's the score to beat, as you can see. Six in 25.52. This is number five. Needs to get it up and over quickly. And he has. Looks as though we'll have a new leader. A massive new leader. Can he finish the lot? One more to go. There it is. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Pedersen. A standing ovation for the Icelander. And the smile tells you everything. An outstanding effort. These kegs are being tossed over with little effort at all. More convincing on the second white one. The first of the 50s. That's the combination to beat. Look, all eight in 37.02. The first of the blues. Well, most people have failed first time round. He's not going to beat Pedersen before him. Goes for the momentum now. Just over the top. Has he got enough left for all eight? To be careful not to cause yourself an injury in this. Here it goes. It's over. Albeit in a longer time than Pedersen before him, but still a magnificent achievement. Sure, not once again. Mass moves, Mass. Talk us through that one. Well, Mass does move, Mass. It's just one of them events. Get them done as fast as you can. Load a leg drive and just get it done. It almost looked like you were trying to go for a five metre barrier and not a four and a half. Your <laughs> kegs were flying so high. Uh, it's a, one of them, just the things, just to make sure it's across each time. Just go as fast as you can. Put you in second place, are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. Well, well done. Thank you. Well, that is one happy man. All eight kegs in 57.64 for the Irishman. Jimmy Paquet coming into this event in third place overall with 48.5 points. Five and a half behind JF Caron. And he's doing well here, very well. And the reds are flying over the top, the blues will be coming soon. This could be a new time. Oh, this is sensational. One more to go. 15 seconds to do it in. There's his first four. He knows the task ahead of him. Just a few seconds left. He's lost it now. The time well gone. And he calls it with seven kegs over the top. He took a while to try on that last one, and ultimately he came up short. Jimmy, I can see you're not happy. That final keg there proved to be a bit tricky, didn't it? I've done it before. I was aiming for nothing less, so I'm disappointed. What do you think went wrong? It's, just, it's a big contest, so, you know, the tired is kicking in, and uh, maybe I'll try to go a little bit too fast. Seven, solid effort, well done. Thank you. Oh, so that initial speed may have cost him. It's seven kegs in 22.22. JF Karan. What can he do? Matthias Belsack still to compete as well. Karan and Belsack surely going for the title here in Canada. 37.02, the time to beat if he can get them all over. And you wouldn't bet against him here. Seemingly little effort exerted so far. There's seven. And eight! In around 27 seconds, a new leader. And by some distance as well. Wow, what an event for you. First place, as it stands. I've still got some big guys to go, but... Oh my gosh, well done. Yeah, thank you. It's not my best performance on that, on that event, you know, but it's not too heavy. I can use almost just my arms. It will be okay, but, you know, a, good, a lot of good athletes against to go. 
I don't know if Berzak can beat this, but I think it's good for first place. Well, if that wasn't his best performance, I'd like to see it when it was. 28.09. And now the challenger. The man who led him coming into this event at the top of the standings, Matthias Belsak. Already a winner this year at FIBO. And in Holland and in Serbia. He led after day one here in Canada. Will he be leading at the end of day two? Well, he's almost certainly not going to win this particular event. But he needs a good score to keep in touch with JF Karan. There goes the second 50. Two more to go. Twenty-eight point zero nine was the time to beat for all eight. Matthias Belsak still going with a minute on the clock, and he calls time. It's six in the end for the Slovenian. Let's get some reaction. He's with Rachel. Matthias, six kegs there. You must be a little bit disappointed. I mean, I know that's not my best event, but for the next time, I will train them hard. I already buy the same cake toss, so I will be more prepared the next time. That result now makes you go down to second place in the overall standings going into the last event. How important is it to produce everything in the Farmers Walk now? I mean, it's strong when you know that uh, a lot of guys are strong. It's a hometown almost from JF. Good events for him, and I have good fighting with him. Still, it's not the end. Everything can happen. I will do my best on the last event and maybe win, maybe not. I hope yes, but it's strong, man, yeah. One more event to go, good luck with that. Thank you. Well, that could be a massive blow in Matis Belsak's chances as he takes second place overall. But in terms of the actual keg toss, it was JF Koran on top, Pedersen just behind him.